In this video, we're going to look at using the Import Audio dialog to import audio into your Pro Tools session. You can open the Import Audio dialog box by going to the File menu and choosing Import Audio, or by pressing Command-Shift-I on the Mac or Control-Shift-I on Windows. There are several different sections to the Import Audio dialog box. We have the Navigation Display window, where you can locate and select audio files on any mounted volumes on your system. We have the File Properties area, which shows the file type, length, size, bit depth, sample rate, and number of channels for the selected file. Then we have the comments area, which provides information about how the selected file can be imported. Then we have the file clips area, which shows the whole file clip and any internal clips inside the selected file. Then we have the audition controls, which allow you to audition the currently selected file or clip. Then we have the clip select buttons, which allow us to either add a clip, if the clip is already compatible with the session settings, which will simply reference the file in its current location, or convert or copy the clip, which will make a copy of the file and also make any necessary conversions so that the file will match the session settings. And then the clip import area, which shows the files or clips that you've selected to import into your current session. Once you've found some clips that you want to import, simply click the Done button to begin the import process. First, Pro Tools will ask you to choose a destination folder. You'll almost always want this to be the session's audio files folder, which should appear as the default destination. Next, the Audio Import Options dialog will appear, and you can choose a destination for the clips, which include either New Track to automatically place the imported clips on new tracks, or you can choose to simply import the new clips to the clip list. If you choose New Track, you can also choose a location where you want the clips to be placed in the session. Available locations include the session start, the song start if you've indicated one in your session, a previous selection that you've made, or you can have Pro Tools open the spot dialog and then type in a precise location where you would like the clips to be located. We'll go ahead and choose the default settings, new track and session start. As you can see, Pro Tools quickly converted and imported the new clips and placed them on new tracks at the start of the session. Note that the tracks will automatically be named after the clip name. So you may want to go ahead and rename these tracks to something more meaningful. 